patch 1.04 has been out for about two weeks now so it is officially the beginning of season one um, and i want to say that this is the end of the arcade release version the hypothetical arcade release version so i want to give some of my thoughts on some of the character balance because i think a lot of the changes that they made have been good and a lot of them have been very questionable and a lot of things they have not changed um so i guess there's no no more preamble to do other than to just get into it. I have them uh, organized kind of random, but I might also go in more random order because I know some people are used to like waiting until the end like bears. Uh, but we can start with Brian. Uh, hmm. I think it would put Brian still in average. He's received a lot of buffs. Um, Brian has always had really good counter hit tools. No exception in this game. His wall damage is crazy. His wall carry is crazy. Of course, with those uh, counter hit tools that he has, he has really good um, space control. Still has hatchet kick, really good. Um, I do think that it got a nerf, though. And um, despite all the buffs that his heat smash has gotten, it is still on the weaker end. Um, and he kind of lacks uh, good panic buttons that you need that a lot of other characters have when dealing with a lot of offense. He does still have an orbital, though. So, um, I would put him in average for now. It's arguable that he could go into strong after all the buffs, but still average personally for me. Jun, I'm going to put her in strong. I would say this is A tier strong. This is S, B, C, D. Um, I played a lot of Jun in Tag 2. She's one of my mains. I got her, I think, to the highest rank uh, with my other main. Um, and in this game, I pretty much not played her at all because I don't love the way that she plays. Um, but she's been repeatedly nerfed and then buffed and then reworked and then nerfed and then buffed again. She's had like six fucking changes on these uh, um, patch notes. Um, she still has the full screen laser, even though it's significantly worse. Um, she can heal now and she could like heal true health, which I think is an interesting change after they made it do actual health damage. Um, but it still does some gray health. It seems like they don't exactly <laughs> know what they want to do with her and her healing. Um, but it is still a bonus that she can heal herself. She is a super easy to apply 50-50. Um, Can Can is a great defensive option. Um, she has good counter hit launchers, a good hop kick. Um, and she still has a Kazama like grab game. So in general, the tools that she has are strong. Um, but then on top of that, she also has really good frames and um, good heat engages and all that shit. Uh, Victor. Victor got a lot of changes, um, but I still think he's, he's an average. He's been here since the game uh, dropped, and that's been my personal opinion the whole time. Um, he's remained gimmicky still, even though they're trying to change him. Um, he has pretty good damage. He has parries. He has pretty good heat engagers. Um, he has a safe armored heat engager, and I'm going to mention that for every character that has one, because um, I think it's just a good tool to have in general. Even though they were nerfed, they're minus 9. I don't understand, personally, why an armored move is minus 9. I don't understand, personally, why a heat engager is minus 9 on block. Um, you know, but I don't make the balance. You know, I don't make the balance. Um, down back 4 is a good low that he has. While running 2, so can apply pressure explosion you know but he doesn't have a grab game a lot of his stance mix-ups are fake um a lot of what he does is fake and you can just call him out and um he doesn't have much leverage from that point uh neener i think this is our first jesus christ here she didn't get many changes on this last patch which is surprising because she's very good um she remains having really good punishment even though blonde bomb was nerfed it is still blonde bomb it is still a mid power crush heat engager that you can do out of stance transitions and this character is built around pressure and stance it is a crazy tool that she has um, she has good wall carry really good damage with her guns um her heat in general is really good because it makes her guns do a lot of damage i've played quite a bit of this character in the demo and also um in the game in general um, and sometimes when I kill people with a gun under, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> it does not make sense, the amount of damage that it does sometimes. Um, and I'll mention she's like a, a very harassment-based character. So she's built around annoying the opponent and creating mental fatigue. And I think that that's gonna raise someone in a tier list at least a little bit when we're talking about, like, 
playing uh, ranked online. Um, let's do Steven next. I think I'll put him here. A lot of people are saying Steve is really good, but I have yet to see it. I don't play against that many Steves. He's not that popular. Um, I'll say he has like low reward, high risk uh, mix ups with, I think, the Stances Lionheart where he like steps back. Um, there's like 80 million answers to what he can do. If you duck, you get a full launch. If he does the mid, nothing happens. Um, and then if you duck the guard break, you get a full launch as well. It's like, you know, he doesn't, it's not a very scary mix-up in comparison to other characters. He's always had bad punishment. That's just a part of his gameplay. Um, his wall carry is good, though, I will admit. Um, he has good wall damage as well. Um, still has parries, and parries are getting a little bit better, better in this game. Um, but he's just weak to option selects in general, unfortunately. Um, I think it's good. Personally, because Steve has always historically been in this tier in every single game that he's been in. So it's it's relieving to see him down here. But I wouldn't mind him getting another buff because it does feel like he's a little bit incomplete or incomplete rather um, in his game plan. You know, um, Lee. I'm going to put Lee here. Lee's a sleeper pick. I don't know why Lee players want people to stay quiet about how good he is. He is so good. I'll mention the safe armored heat engager that he has. Um, good wall rising punishment. A full combo out of a wall rising move. It's it's better than Leo. It's way better than Leo. It's better than Kazuya as well. Um, I'll mention this too as well. Demon Paw, uh, forward forward three. I think it's a button. Insane range. Full combo in heat. It's a heat engager. I don't understand why so many characters in this game have fucking insane um, phantom range, demon paws, it's really unfun to play against. But that is something that takes him to the strong tier, in my opinion. Um, he has good punishment in general. Acid rain, you know the thing. Uh, wall carry, slide mix. Even though it was nerfed for other characters, Lee's remains the same. Um, and he has a grab game as well with the launch and grab. Um, so the character is fucked up. He, he is very fucked up. He's always been fucked up because he's a defensive base, like counter hit character just now he has shit like back three three to get in and initiate and he has a lot of um i don't know just like oppressive frames and stupid bullshit that he can do and then on top of that he controls neutral with his counter hit tools and demon paw so fighting him can feel um unfortunate at times but he's still not here he's still not here um let's do yoshi um all i could really say for this character is flash like completely disrupts the flow of the game. This is a game where you're supposed to be aggressive and in somebody's face. And this motherfucker has a pseudo rage art whenever the fuck he wants. And if he lands it, he's a full combo. What the fuck is that? Like, what the fuck is that? It feels very odd for him to just have a tool that completely negates the way that the game is supposed to be played. Um, Yoshimitsu has also never had this many good strings as he does in this game. Um, he's still gimmicky. And then the last thing I'll mention is uh, healing. His healing is way better than John's. He can do it all the fucking time. Um, and it's kind of insane when he just does a combo and does a regular ender and he heals like 20% of his health. But other than that, I don't know much about Yoshi. I just know fighting him is a disaster. And that's 80% because of uh, Flash. Uh, let's do Leroy. Ihoi. Hmm. I'll put them here. We're, they all say ordered, but I'm going to order them, I think, at the end, or like halfway through. At some point, I'm going to order it. But Leroy, A tier. Um, he got buffed a bunch, and I think he got buffed more in this most recent patch. Um, parries are getting stronger in the game, so that's good for him in general. Um, he, still ha he has two orbitals, actually, which is really good in this game as people are trying to pressure you. Um, I wrote bullshit 50-50s. <laughs> I think that's a good description. Um, and so I step 1 plus 2. Crazy button. Is that shit plus 7? Um, chip damage. Also insane. And he does have, like, a harassment playstyle, like Nina, where he does just chip you down. It feels very aggravating to play against him. Hyper aggression. Um, y'all know. If you played against an online Leroy, Leroy you know the thing. Leo. This is a controversial one. People fucking hate Leo in this game. And I didn't understand until I fought um, a Tekken God Supreme Leo. 
and the frames and the frame traps and the wall damage and the wall carry and the harassment in your face all the time. I feel like Leo has never played like this before. And it is really like, when you're playing against a good Leo that knows how to play the game, it is very oppressive to play against that down forward two and that hop kick um, and the neutral control that Leo can have and the counter hit buttons and the wall rising punishment. It is like really insane, but it does take a good pilot. Um, so like I said, good punishment, wall carries good. Crazy, crazy heat engagers. Some of the best heat engagers in the game. Um, decent 50-50s. Good evasion as well. And crazy panic moves. Every fucking button is a panic move on this character. But that being said, I used to really like Leo. Um, I still like them in this game. I just think that they're a little stupid. Kind of like um, Lee or John. Um, still a cool character. Um, I just wish that the game plan was a little bit more defensive and less like... I press forward four and now I can um, just re-establish my frames over and over again. Really, really unfair to play against. Um, we could do Jin next. You already know. I'm just going to go ahead and put him up there. He has had so few changes. It's actually crazy. Um, forward four. Still crazy. Uh, neutral control. Down two. Scourge. Why is it a counter hit launcher? Don't understand. He's a Mishima, so he has really good fundamental tools in general. And then on top of that, he has the fundamental tools of Cosma on top of that. Um, Demon Paw, exclamation point, Demon Paw. And he has the best one in the game, even with the Phantom Range nerf. Um, it's still, the range is insane and it's a heat engager. Um, he has Can Cans, really good defensive tool. Parries are getting better. Um, his parry specifically also got buffed. Um, and his heat, the way that the chip damage plays itself and he just runs you down and it feels like you largely cannot do anything other than guess right and duck, but it's very scary because he does have a mid launching electric. What the fuck? He has every fucking tool. Like he has every tool. It's really scary to play against him at every rank. I, I've played all the way up to Tekken God at the, well, Tekken God Supreme at this point. Um, even when I was fucking God of you. This character was a nightmare to play against. So he remains really, really good. Reyna. Hmm. Reyna got two nerfs. Two big ones, I think. Um, the forward forward two one. And then the full crouch down forward four one. The full crouch down forward four one was deserved. I think that one was literally like a glitch. Like the way that that shit was hitting did not make any sense. Um, and then the forward forward two one also was deserved, but I think that we should nerf all demon paws in that way. Um, so her space control is worse, but it is still insane because she, her forward forward two is still really good, and you can just change the timing of it. And because it's a forward forward input, you can realign um, with your opponent who's either side stepping or side walking, um, and then it leads into a frame trap, um, and it's very very oppressive to deal with, especially if walls are involved. Um, mix up off of every single string, even down forward one, mix up, forward two, three, mix up, like every fucking, forward four, two, mix up, one, one, two, mix up, it's like, every two seconds she's making you guess, and you can't even, um, dick jab, because she has, uh, the mid power crush, which she can, hit, um, hit confirm, blue spark, crazy, just crazy, useful counter hit tools, um, crazy combo vers versatility, she can change her combos up whenever she wants, um, and she can adjust them really well. It kind of reminds me of, like, how Leo can or Lily can. Um, or how. Um, there's a few other characters that can, like Shaheen as well. Um, she has multiple heat smashes. One of them is low. Um, even her regular mid one is uh, really good. Unbreakable throws. Super oppressive um, frames. And great damage. So, like, even with the forward forward two nerf, this character is <laughs> really good. Oh god. <laughs> Devil Jin. <Gen. clears throat> I'm gonna put Devil Jin in average. He's a Mishima. Like, he can never actually be here. Like, never. Like, unless they actually make his down forward one, like, 80 frames. They make his electric 200 frames. Like, he can never be that weak because he's a Mishima. He has those fundamental tools that make his mix up really good, his um, Okuzami really good. Um, but that being said, he is struggling a little bit. He still has Demon Paw, but it, he has the worst one in the game. 
it's still demon pop so you know he has that launching hell sweep which is a really good um like addition for him to have he has that range three chain that he can just throw out and it does give him a free heat engager and he has pretty decent evasion with the flying back and in the air and fucking upside down shit that he can do um but other than that in his fundamental mishima tools he does struggle a lot um i did hear that his one one two whiffs uh, which is problematic having your jabs with can mess up your whole game you know um but i don't know he still has a lot of really good fundamental tools because uh, he's a mishima the house sweep launching is fucking crazy the way he can interact with stages is really good um and he also has gimmicks um so you know he i would listen to an argument to hear that he's here but personally i would put him in average claudio serafino this bitch i personally have a lot of matchup um difficulty with him because a lot of his moves are so confusing and they don't look they're not real martial arts and i didn't realize how much i rely on that to be able to understand when somebody's string is done intuitively but when he's just swinging his hands around i don't know what the fuck is going on no matter as many times as i play against his character but besides that he still has really good fundamental tools the hop kick is crazy um back one is crazy as well uh decent damage uh good 50 50s and wall running too um people say his lows are bad but that side step low that he has is pretty good even that slow fucking low um if you plan it correctly it's a counter hit launcher so there's uh, definitely some work that you could do but he's like um shaheen in the way that his kit is very limited but what he has is very powerful and it just takes the correct person to be able to um abuse <laughs> that for lack of a better word Paul. Paul got like two pages of buffs for no reason. This character was already in A tier. Um, but now people are arguing he's in S tier. I just personally would put him at the top of A and we'll organize it like I said at the end. But always strongest 50 50 in the game next to Kazuya. Um, and it's even better in Heat. 13 frame heat engager, what the fuck, back sway in general, the evasion, um, he has an insane grab game, good armored moves, his chip damage is also crazy, and the pressure that he can apply with death fist and heat is really good, um, I don't know a lot about Paul, I just know that he's a bitch and I hate him, uh, but, I know that the shit that I read, I was like, this is fucking ridiculous. It was like reading the Leroy patch um, where he got buffed, but like exponentially better. Um, so, you know, I hope if you play Paul that you're happy. Um, and I also hope that all of the buffs that you got are reverted because I, <laughs> in general, dislike 50-50 Oki characters. But, you know, I'm happy for you in the time being. Uh, let's do Jack next. So Jack, I would put in A tier. This is scary. I don't know. Maybe B. But I'll put him in A. He got some buffs. And uh, Jack, you know, good fundamental tools like Claudio, the down forward two, the small tech in that he can play the back one. Um, the wall running game that now, now has with uh, Giga shit. Good throw game as well. He has launching throws. Um, he has really good with punishment in general um good heat smash the 10 frame heat smash as well guard break he has some gimmicky stuff um he has some panic moves that he can press when he feels like you're in his face a little bit too much but he does struggle a lot against pressure characters and i'll say that's something that limits him from being in um <laughs> jc tier um and maybe makes me want to put him in average but for now i would say he's at like the end of a um maybe b you know, Fang, Fong, um, still S tier. He got some nerfs, you know, 3-3. Three, three, um, but he did get that new Heat Engager counter hit shit. Um, the shoulder extension. Good 50-50s always in back turn. Really good 50-50s. Uh, he has very little risk for what he has to do. Um, he has good punishment. Uh, really high damage. Good wall carry. Um, he also has a harassment character, very good small tech in poking. Um, he's oppressive as fuck. He's really good. Back one is crazy. Shoulder is also really good. 
He just has an answer for everything at all times. When he's on offense, it's really hard to do anything. Three plus four as a button in heat. Why the fuck is that in the game? Um, <laughs> it's just he's unfortunate to play against. Um, let's switch it up a little bit. It's a king. Bitch ass king, bro. Straight ass tier. Why the fuck does he have a Mishima style wave dash? He's always had a wave dash, but you made it easier. You made fucking Red Ranks be able to wave dash and apply um, his grab mix up. Grabs were nerfed in general in this patch, except for Kings. Awesome. One of the most problematic characters in this game, especially considering grabs. Um, and you revert a lot of the changes to a lot of his grabs. Um, that mid counter hit launcher that he has does um, 70 damage that nobody else has in the game. Awesome. Really good hop kick. He doesn't need to also have a good fundamental hop kick. Armor on everything. Forward, forward, neutral too. That button in general. What the fuck? Why does it have counter hit properties? There's counter hit properties on every move that he does, and a lot of them do not make any sense, and they give him like 30 extra damage, and then he gets a follow up on top of it. He has evasion on a lot of things, and he's gimmicky. And he, I said he probably has the third best Oki in the game. I agree with every single point that I made. Somebody write that shit down, put it in an, empor an emporium. Like, that was, I mean, I don't think I was wrong about any of that. Fuck King. He's for bitches. Um, I should have had that rant for Fong, but I think King is way more problematic now. Um, let's do Kazuya. I also dislike playing against Kazuya, like how I dislike playing against Claudio and Paul. Um, he's a Mishima, so again, uh, he just automatically is going to be bumped up uh he got a page of buffs this last patch um he has really good oki he has a safe mid launcher awesome he is super steppable which i think keeps him out of uh, jesus christ here um he has really good damage like st like i think Kazuya players are under <laughs> um downplaying rather downplaying the amount of damage that he can do like it is really a lot, especially when he's against a wall or when there's stage um, hazards involved. His pressure is really good, and he also still has a demon pop. All those things put together, A tier. Um, Azucena? I do Azucena. Um, Azucena has gotten a lot of nurse, but she also has been just like reworked in general. Um, so with the nurse came buffs and just changes. Um, and I would say she's in strong. She's in a very healthy place now in opposition to where she was at the beginning of the game. She still has good strings that have uh, counter hit properties on the last options that are often launchers. Um, gimmicks. Lots of gimmicks. Uh, she has good heat engagers and an easy, easy to apply 50-50. She's very easy to understand. Um, it just doesn't necessarily take a prolific artist to make the, the strongest aspects of her come alive um she is still really good though um she has a lot of good options she's just no longer up here and like unwinnable against um and so you've seen a lot less of her as well but you know i think she's a decent character now she's cool i don't ab abjectly hate her like how i did at the beginning of the game asuka switch it up and do asuka um <clears throat> i'll put her in b Good wall running pressure with her change to uh, wall running 1 plus 2, even though Asuka mains didn't ask for that and they complained when they got it because um, that's not how you play the character. And I completely understand why you would complain about that because it's a defensive oriented character. Why are you giving her wall running pressure? They have adapted to it and they have been able to implement it and it does look like a good change. She's a Kazuma. She has back 3, can cans, good defensive options. Safe, safe armored heat engager. Girl, why the fuck does she have that shit? But hers is actually the most balanced in the game, so I'll give her that. Um, it's another thing that keeps her out of strong tier. Uh, good built-in evasion on some of the stuff she does. Crazy good small Tekken. If you're playing against somebody that's good at small Tekken and just a good um, defensive player, you cannot break them on this character. Um, and she has some moves that are difficult to punish because of... Uh, the spacing that you're left at after she hits you with them. Um, she's a good option. She's just not oppressive and overwhelming in the um, offensive way. You kind of have to um, let your opponent make mistakes or poke them down with good small Tekken, which you can't do if your opponent is just rushing you down. Um, okay, we can do the big one. 
You could do Lily. Uh, this is my main character. I've been playing her since Tekken 5 DR. Um, I didn't even write any notes for her because I think I know what I want to say. She's gotten, I think, two sets of nerfs uh, back to back, um, which is kind of justified. She was a little bit insane, but like so were a lot of other characters. But um, And some of the other characters also get to keep some of the shit that was insane, like Nina. And we'll talk about that, but I'm looking at you, girl. Um, her losing the property on her axe kick on QCF3 hurt a lot, but they didn't change the damage, which is good because that would have changed the damage on a lot of her combos. It's also minus 11 on block. I don't think that was necessary, but it's okay. Minus 11 standing is okay. I'll take that. It's also not a move that you should be throwing out in neutral, so whatever. Um, she has really good pressure with uh, QCF3 plus 4, even though a lot of the things that she could do out of it are fake. Um... And she kind of just uses it to create a frame trap where she steps and hopes that you whiff. Um, and kind of the way that you have to play her is you hope that your opponent is fucking stupid as fuck and presses into you um, some of the time. And that can make playing her at a higher level more difficult because people are not going to press into things like that. Um, she has really good counter hit tools. Forward 4 is safe. Good counter hit tool controls a lot of space you can step it super easily though you can step that shit on accident um she has good heat engagers not the best in the game but they're pretty good great with punishment um i mean she's she's an all-round character she can do everything that she needs to do they've just made her a lot less safe which i you know i'll agree that she had a lot of stuff that was too safe um but it has hurt her a lot um and it's hurt kind of like her game plan and what she wants to do because now you want to implement like sidestep four more in and you want to start um, doing stuff like that now that voila is worse um and i don't know i think a lot of lily players are trying to understand how to play her right now because her power was reshifted and this is kind of just turning into a therapy session and a philosophical conversation about the the fundamental design of this character because i do love her a lot and i think her back turn um mix has gotten worse um, but I also think a lot of that shit is justified, and she can do a lot with, like, Feisty Rabbit and Duke Glide cancels. And she's a defensive character that requires the person using her to be very good and fundamentally based at the game, like a lot of other characters that I mentioned before. Um, she's just not super rewarded for everything that she does in the way that she was before. Um, I watched another tier list where someone called her... Uh, privileged fundamentals and i would heavily agree with that i think that if you are very fundamentally good at the game you will get a lot of leverage out of her because of how she plays and they have taken down um that leverage and that ability that she had that may have placed her in jesus christ here previously um to now she's just in strong um she might be in the lower end of strong who knows we'll see how that manifests over time Anyways, Dragunov, um, still S tier, fuck this bitch, plus seven on everything, him getting nerfs on some stuff did change how good he was, it was actually insane how good he was on release, but he still has oppressive frames, he still has hatchet kick, he still has a grab game, he still has a full crouch game, you are in fear at all times <laughs> when he's on the screen, and his counter hit, um, properties are also too much damage, too much damage on everything, really good character, OTG on everything, everything hits on the fucking ground, um, you know the thing. Law, also S tier. Um, he's safe on everything. I will say his slide um, vortex was nerfed, which is good. Like, you should not have been able to apply that as easily as you could. There were whole rounds where Laws and Shaheens were killing people, fun like, just based off of that. Um, but, you know, he is super safe on a lot of things he wasn't safe on before. His down jab la launching string makes him really difficult to put offense into it's kind of like yoshi flash or nina down jab or kink down jab where because it's like a full string if he hits you on counter hit um you're fucked his is just the best because it's a launcher for whatever fucking reason um easy dss provides oppressive frames i've heard that some legacy law players don't like the new dss but um it does let you get dss frames easier it is more awkward to use and it does fuck up some inputs sometimes but it does you know the the movement is actually easier um he's he also has a grab game he's like lee in that way everything is homing <laughs> nunchuck numchuck is too good 
Um, he does a lot of damage, and he also is a harassment character. Um, he's really difficult to play against. I don't know. It's, like, unfun. <laughs> uh, Raven? I think Raven is going to be the first C-tier character. He got buffed. But I honestly did not notice the buffs. Um, he did not feel different to me at all. Um, I don't know. Raven players sound off if you feel like he's significantly better. Um, he's unsafe as fuck. Every clone thing that he does is unsafe. I will say that down forward one um, string, if you know that you caught someone on counter hit, it giving wall spot is really good. But if you didn't, it's minus 14, which is crazy. Um, he has that one frame start at parry, which is good, but it's largely gimmicky, especially if your opponent knows how to play against it. He has good 50-50s, especially uh, in full crouch. Um, and he also has good back turn options. Um, just kind of underwhelming damage. Underwhelming character in general. Um, he could be stronger. I, I advocate that for y'all. Um, Shaheen. I played some Shaheen in Tekken 8. I played some fucking Shaheen in Tekken 8. This motherfucker might be up here. But um, his slide vortex did get nerfed. You know, that does take him down a little bit. Like Law. But Law has uh, better options. He does have a safe armored heat engager. I'll mention it. Good wall carry and wall rising 3 combos. Um, full crouch game is very scary. Um, good hop kick and down forward 2. Crazy hop kick and down forward 2. They're like um, Claudio's and Jack's put together. Um, wall running 2 pressure is also very good. Um, he's just a very good fundamental character. He has like 80 moves. Um, but the way that you apply them can be very, very difficult to deal with. Um, and he's cool in that way. I find him very cool um, in his minimalistic approach and gameplay. Um, just every button he has is kind of crazy. It's kind of very, very good. How? I'll say average. Um, the person I play Tekken with the most is a How main. Um, and he does feel kind of underwhelming in this game. As you get up in the higher tiers, even I'll say like blue now, like low blue, Fujin. Um, how kind of falls off because people understand how to deal with this pressure down jab sidestep duck launch um interrupt uh power crush like there's answers to the things that he does granted he does have stupid shit like every homing mid move that he has is so fucked up he does have a demon paw it's not the best but it is really good and him having that amount of neutral control with back three and demon paw is it can feel very difficult to play against um obviously he has oppressive frames with his pressure that's his whole fucking thing and then he applies his 50 50 at the end the thing is though is that if the how is wrong on his 50 50 he's fully punished for it which i think is kind of good i think that's how a lot of 50 50 should work but because that's not the way that a lot of other characters 50 50s work um it does drop him down and in, in, in the tier um he has good armor utility. I'll say in that armor that he could do out of Flamingo, I think. Um, but, you know, kind of underwhelming. Don't buff him, but kind of underwhelming. Uh, Zafiner. Zafiner is just like Oscar. They got the same buff. Um, she has really good evasion. She has, unfortunately, low damage. Um, she has a really good reversal. Um, good heat smashes. Both of them are really good. Uh, that wall running pressure is super good. Um, that she got uh tarantula down forward one also good frames and it's mid kind of hard to deal with um she gets extra armor in heat it kind of sucks because you can grab um it and then like all those moves become unsafe because they're armored and so it's just kind of like there's utility in it but like if you're not if anything goes wrong at all you get severely punished as a safina player just trying to like use your regular moves um, and a lot of her 50-50s are, like, largely ignorable. Like, girl, just hop kick. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of times where, like, you could just hop kick her. Um, you can fully just interrupt her. But, you know, a good Safina will have you scared and running. Um, she has a lot more tools than she did at the beginning of the game um, to make her game plan happen and have it be scary. But there's much scarier characters in the cast, obviously. Eddie. Kind of happy about this one. Um, but Eddie has been changed a lot for this game. Um, he is very gimmicky. Um, he does have a safe armored heat engager. It's good. Brings him out of unplayable tier. 
uh, he's weak to option selects. A lot of times when he goes into um, relaxed, I just immediately down forward too because I know that 80% of the time that shit is going to hit. Um, and I'm not afraid to do it. I'm not afraid to press that fucking button. Um, weak 50-50s in general until he gets his Moringa. But even then, just block the shit because all of his Moringa options are low and you know that they want to like cash out on that. Um, he has low damage. Um, he's very interruptible, but he is a harassment character. Um, and he has some pretty good heat engagers, like that crouch grab shit that he could do. Um, he still has pretty good, uh, whiff punishment, but the fact that he's a pressure character now does limit him a lot. Um, and it's, you know, it's, a, it's unfortunate to his gameplay. Um, Coomer, Coomer and Panjer. Hmm. I think, yeah. Okay. Kuma and Panda. I'll talk about them together and their differences. Um, they're both largely still gimmick characters. Um, the For Panda, the multi-use heat smash is cool, but it's ultimately still weak even after the buffs. It's kind of underwhelming. You can't apply, like, you know, your little roll, but, like, the then you just guess right. And, like, if you have encountered pandas a lot it's not really that scary at all um good chip damage and you have the throw to cash out um good armor um unique hitboxes also for the both of them um help them quite a bit because you have to have specific combos for them um and they do so i'm gonna stress this one more time they do so much fucking damage both of them do so much fucking damage the main difference in between them is um the Heat Smash and also Kuma's mid electric. Kuma's uh, Heat Smash is better and the electric is better. Utility wise, damage, everything. Um, the frames are really good. You've seen people just spam it over and over again and then do a Heat Smash um, to get their opponent to guess when they're going to do either one, uh, which is a viable strat. <laughs> which is surprising that it's a viable strat. But, you know, their lows are weak. They're um, weak to option selects in their um, stances. Um, they're underwhelming if you lab against them. You know, they, you just get a lot of leverage out of them if you don't lab against them. And now they do actually have some stuff that is good, and they've always done so much fucking damage. Um, we can do Lars, Lars Alexanderson. Um, I'll put Lars in B. He does, I, <laughs> this is a little mean, but I wrote plays himself. Uh, he does largely play himself. Um, dynamic entry three. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, good wall carry. He has orbitals and evasion on everything. He's a very panic-oriented character. He has a lot of harassment options as well. Interruptible 50-50s when he's just spinning around and doing shit. I've tried to condition myself to, like, hop kick, down forward two, dick jab, interrupt him, interrupt him. Then he really can't do much. Um, and he has low damage. He relies a lot on gimmicks and confusing the opponent, which I think is, like, a cool play style. But, like, Jun does that better. Um, to me, Claudia does that better. Reyna does that better. Um, Fang does that better. There's characters that work on Ling does that better. There's characters that, like, confuse you. Um, and their reward is higher. And also, it's not all interruptible fake bullshit. So, you know, he's an average. But he does still have stuff that um, helps him, you know. Ling. Ling has got nerfs. Uh, her... Uh, her sweep is now minus 13 like Lily's, um, which sucks because now Kazuya can launch it, but, you know, I think it was fair. Um, she does have really good Oki, good wall damage. Um, she has very good grab game for no reason. Um, she has a lot of harassment and setups. Uh, I would put her in S. I really don't struggle in the Ling matchup. I'm not afraid of her at all. Um, but, you know, I'll, I'll still put her in S because she has a lot of good tools. And it, against a good Ling, it's like you kind of want to put the controller down. <laughs> but when we organize it, I think she will go towards the bottom of S. Elisa, also an S. Um, I also think towards the bottom. Um, down forward one counter hit string does so much, so much damage. And then your chainsaws are out after it. Chainsaws have really good frames. Um, it is kind of a guess, but there are things that you can do. Like sidestep will 
most of them will whiff, unless it's the two homing options. Why does she have two homing ones? Why is it a low homing move? It's so weird that she has that. But, um, you know, she if the Elisa player is good at responding to what you usually do, you really can't do anything against chainsaws. Um, she has really good frame traps, um, like with full crouch, uh, I think one plus two, the, like, tire shoes. She can teleport across the screen whenever the fuck she wants, and when she teleports, she also has a hell sweep out of it. Great. Um, <laughs> uh, and her chip damage is really good. Um, but, you know, I don't struggle with her that much. Lydia's not out, but I feel like I could rank her. I didn't play against Lydia that much in Tekken 7, because I didn't play Tekken 7 that much, because I have standards in class. Um, but I would guess that she would be here. You know, from what I've heard about her, strings, forward, forward, two, oppression. Sounds like every other fucking character in this game. Sounds like she's going to play exactly like fucking Reyna and Jin. Um, and when I watched her trailer, I was pissed off. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, she seems like she's going to be good. So I would put her here, maybe here. Who fucking knows? She's trash. Lydia's garbage. Um, but now the fun part. Now we can organize this. Um, we can start from the weak tier and then move our way up. The worst character in the game probably is Panda. And Panda still has sauce. I mentioned Panda sauce, so let's pay attention to Panda and Kuma sauce. Um, and I think this is right. I think it's Eddie Raven. Um, because Raven did get buffs. You know, he does have a lot of utility in the clones. His heat smash is interesting. Um... And the clones all become safe in heat. And if they hit, he gets heat back. You know, cool shit. Average. Hmm. Who's the worst character here? Probably Kuma. Devil Jin. Steven. Lars. Steven, Zafina, Lars. Um, Asuka, How Victor, Brian. I think this is correct. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think the main reasons why is uh, good good space control. Um, while largely gimmicky, he does have g good damage. Um, and like, if you don't know how to respond to his pressure, it can be like oppressive. Um, and he does have like good power crushes and shit. If if the person piloting Victor is good, he can make some stuff happen. His down four two is really good. Down one is really good. Full launch and heat. Um, pressure in general is really good in this game and his mid options are all really good. Um, like his mid space control options, I mean, um, good defensive character, bullshit, like mental fatigue character, <laughs> um, that has good damage and wall carry, um, mix up oriented character and she can apply her mix up sometimes, you know, <laughs> sometimes, um, he's Steve back one, Mishima good damage who's the worst character here controversy strikes <laughs> leo um no jack jack leo leroy azucena claudio um Paul is probably one. This one. Lily and Shaheen are literally the same character. And their, um, their balance, this entire game, has been like together as a pair. They've always traveled together on the tier list. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that, but I think it's because they're both defense-oriented characters that, make, that want you to whiff into them that have very like, strong fundamental tools. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to group them together. Um, it's probably like this, right? Um, I think so. I think people would largely agree with this. Um, uh, maybe Azucena is a little low for most people, but when was the last time you fought at Azucena? Like, be honest. <laughs> be honest. Um, Paul is fucking insane. Really good buffs. John also, I don't know what is going on with this character really, but I think because they've given her true healing it's helped her and then she also is just good defense character all of these characters are defense oriented um so it may, it puts them up here claudio also is but he just is not as privileged as these three okay final tier 
Jimmy Cricket, this is taking some time, huh? Um, hmm. Who's... All of these characters are so good. <laughs> They're all so good. I think Yoshi is stronger than Dragonoff. I think Fang is stronger than Drag, but like marginally. Okay. I think this is it. Nerfed. There's answers. Nerfed. Nerfed. Unnerfed. But I think all these characters are stronger. Flash. We've been at, we, we talked about it. 4 to 4 2. Oppressive frames. King. Jin ka fucking Zama. All right. I think that concludes the tier list. Um, <laughs> I think I thoroughly explained everything. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I have to make more videos. It's been a little bit difficult for me to tap in. But, you know, this is my attempt. Okay. I'm fucking trying. I'm fucking trying.